So I haven't created content in a while, and I'm just I'm just getting ready to go to yoga class. So forgive the forgive the the ruddy appearance, but um, a, a video that somebody posted yesterday reminded me of this topic, and it's something that I often talk about, and that is love. Love is unconditional. People will say unconditional love, but for me, that's a redundancy because if it isn't unconditional, it isn't love. There are many associated emotions that come along with love, but love isn't even an, just an emotion. It's a state of being. Love is ultimately connection, connection to other beings, uh, whether that be a human being or an animal being or a part of nature or a spiritual being, it's connection, connectivity. Um, a Christian saying, one of the few true Christian sayings that I, that Christian sayings that that, are, that is Christian that I find to be true is, wherever two or more of you is gathered in His name. Now, uh, forget about His name. Wherever two or more of you, love is a connective force. Love is what is born from the connection between two beings, and it is always unconditional. It is fluent. It is open. It is fluid. It is. It is all-encompassing, and it is unconditional. Love and relationships, not the same thing. By the very nature, the very definition of relationship means that there are conditions on the two of you coming together. So you can very much love somebody unconditionally and not be able to have a specific kind of relationship with them. And I don't believe in the statement, there are many different loves. Oh, you don't love your father the way that you love your boyfriend, the way that you love your sister, the way that you love your best friend. Um, I believe that that statement is completely and totally untrue. Because love is one thing. One love. Think of think of the, the Bob Marley song, One Love. Think uh, that's... That's what love is. Love is one thing. Love is unconditional. There is one love. One, love is one. Love, love is love is love is love. There is nothing else. There's no different kinds of love. The way that I love my son would be the same way that I would love my husband. The difference would be the other associated emotions. Clearly, I don't feel lust or arousal for my, for my son. But the love that I feel that connectivity, that unconditional openness and connection is one thing. It is the same. It is the same for everybody that you actually love. Not, not colloquial love, like, oh, I love you, girl. You know, not that, that kind of flippant, not real love. I'm talking about real love. Real love is always unconditional. There is one love, one, one such thing as love. There are not different kinds of love. There is one kind of love, and that is love, is love is love is love, love is love, love is always unconditional. Saying unconditional love is a redundancy, but it's not an offensive redundancy, so go ahead and do it. But do not mistake love for A, relationships, and B, for other associated feelings like lust, or obsession, or attraction. Oftentimes, we say that we are in love with people that we feel those things for, and it leads us to hurt and suffering because it wasn't really love. Love never leads to hurt and suffering. I see a lot of memes go around like that, too, that, that talk about, oh, love is love, love hurts. If it's hurting, it's not love. You better get it straight. You better get it straight. If it is hurting you and ripping you apart inside, what you feel is absolutely not love. It may be um, attachment. It may be fear. Once again, associated with somebody that you love, but it's not love. Love is the feeling of complete balance, stability, and connection. Unconditional openness and connection. That is what love is. Don't get it twisted. Don't confuse it. And always, always believe in it. Gotta go to yoga.